One of the challenges has been that the programme was set up originally to work with local authorities in partnership to make sure that the right families were being identified for the programme. So each local authority area has been able to pick their priority areas and their referral criteria and to decide which agencies are able to identify families for the programme. This hasn't always resulted in the number of referrals that we were expecting. Referrals have been low across the South East, um, in part because of the confusion with the Department of Community and Local Government programme and their own Troubled Families programmes, with lots of the referring agencies getting quite confused about the difference between their Troubled Families program and progress. So referrals have been low, however since then what we've decided to do is to launch as an employability program to really help those LAs understand that there are key differences between what we're both trying to achieve, there isn't competition and to make sure that at the right time when those families are stable that if they are unemployed and they are able to work that we support those people to look at the employability aspects of their their journey and to help them to get back into work. So we've got some really good successes with local authorities and really good examples where they've taken progress and embedded it within their, um, their programme, which we're really excited about. Another challenge is Job Centre Plus. Uh, we know that job centres are working with and seeing families every day that could really benefit from a, a programme like Progress. However, because of the contracting, they are not able to refer directly to the programme. Um, they can, however, signpost families to, to take up the provision. So we're really excited that since September 2012, we've been able to utilise a secondary referral route to work with 72 job centres that are in the South East and to promote and really raise awareness of the programme so that where there are families who could really benefit from the additional one-to-one -one support and the progress measures, that those families are signposted to the local provision.